In this video, we want to explain how you can create sub-drawings in SMAP 3D P and ID that you can reuse in a different project at a later time. Here, we have set up a demo construction as an example. From this, we now want to derive, cut out, or copy a reusable unit, a so-called sub-drawing. We select the desired area and copy all the selected elements to the clipboard. We can start or create a new sub-drawing from the Explorer window with only a few clicks. Here we can paste our copied elements. As you can see, all the parameters we entered into the diagram page were copied as well. And of course we can modify them now. We reduced the temperature to 30 degrees, change the line color, and add another valve at the vessel. Now we save the subdrawing as a new version and leave the symbol editor. We are now able to insert our new subdrawing into any project we wish. We can just drag and drop it from the Explorer window on the left hand side of the screen. To improve the workflow and make it more efficient, we can also define specific models for our assembly. We edit our subdrawing again now. We now replace the points we want to switch dynamically with placeholders. Afterwards, we generate a variable list for these placeholders. We assume there is water in the first vessel and oil in the other one. Also, we put in two different article numbers and different temperatures. Furthermore, we only want to see the additional valve in our first version. Now we save the subdrawing as a new version and leave the symbol editor. When we use our assembly, we can decide which version shall be displayed before placing it. When we place both versions directly beside each other, we can see that the tag number, the medium, and temperature are not the same anymore. We can also see that our valve is only displayed in light gray for our second version. You have seen how easy it is to create a new subdrawing and how you can set up an assembly for different use cases.